Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to go over a few well-needed accessories that I've personally been using, uh, particularly in regards to the Orange Pi 5. Now, uh, some of these accessories I'm gonna show you guys today will also work for the Pi 3, 3B Plus, and also the Pi 4. But if you're a retro gamer or you just like to tinker, uh, these are some of the recommended items I think that you should have to make your project a little bit more successful. Now, besides going with your standard SD card, you all know that you need one of those for the Orange Pi 5. But personally, uh, I want to show you a few other items that I picked up uh, as a safe precaution, as you want to say. Because one of the things that I was concerned about is, you know, the putting in and the unplugging of all the controllers and all the USB devices. You don't want to take a chance on uh, breaking something. And I know right now with the Orange Pi 5, you know, I've been doing a lot of plugging in and plugging out uh, with some of the controllers. As you guys know, some of the drivers for certain Xbox controllers and whatnot uh, won't work uh, depending upon what front end you want to use. And so uh, you have two USB ports here. You got a USB 3.0, 3.0 here. And then, of course, you got USB uh, 2.0 listed over here. So uh, to kind of compensate, you know, for the additional stress, uh, which you really don't want to put on a single board computer. I wouldn't pop, uh, pick this thing up at Best Buy. This is the J5 Create USB 3.0 7 port USB hub. I'm not a USB hub type of guy. Uh, I never really, I think I bought maybe a couple of these here in the past, but never really need them because all of my computers have well enough USB ports. But uh, the reason why I decided to get this is because uh, obviously it's, uh, multi-purpose, multi-functional. I can use this with my laptop and several other devices. Or if you're building an arcade unit, this is also great to have. But this is a powered USB 3.0 hub, uh, and I haven't had any issues with this whatsoever. <clears throat> now, the reason why I say that is because uh, obviously, uh, you know, you plug this in, and sometimes you have the chance for many devices to override themselves into one USB port. I haven't had any of those issues. As you can see here, I have my wireless adapter for my wireless keyboard. I've also had my Xbox controllers plugged in. This is primarily the one that I use when you guys see a lot of the videos uh, that I've been working on on the Orange Pi 5. And so I um, haven't had any issues in terms of one of these ports overriding another one. And so just wanted to let you guys know that I've personally found this safe to use when working on my images. Now, I know there isn't a lot of development out there as of yet for the Orange Pi 5, but uh, this is something that is safe to have and something that's really good to have if you don't want to put an additional stress directly on the board. Now, this is another device that I have here. Haven't used this too much. This is the StarTech.com. Uh, now, you can use this for an additional USB 3.0 ports. It does have a USB-C connection. You can plug this directly in uh, to your Orange Pi 5. But what this also does is allows you to branch off and you can use that dual display uh, if you want, as well as giving you additional USB 3.0 ports if you wanna plug this up to a secondary device. Now I did use this with the OP5. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I did use this with my Orange Pi 5 uh, Retro Pi image. Um, it does work. However, we don't have a current script that does allow for the video marquee or, or marquee to show up on a secondary display. It is possible. Um, there are certain aspects of that image that will appear on the secondary display. So this is an option. But if you are using another front end, uh, this will uh, item will work and will allow to use your HDMI port or USB-C port directly to another TV if you guys want to show off your secondary display. Now, another device, this is one of my favorites. You guys know I've picked this up back in 2020 when they first came out. This is the Chrono Zen. And what the Chrono Zen does, if you guys are familiar with all the videos, most people use these for auto-aim, auto-assist, and all that other kind of stuff. But primarily, you know, for myself, I use this to emulate other controllers. In fact, if you guys are familiar with a few weeks ago, uh, I was playing around with another image and I was using my Xbox controller, but the image only recognized PS3 controllers, which 
kind of sucks. It was a cool image and stuff like that. And so instead of trying to fish around for a particular controller and find out why it doesn't work, what this device does, it allows you to emulate another controller. So if I have my Xbox controller plugged in and I want to emulate Nintendo, PS3, uh, what else is out there? Uh, Nintendo Switch, uh, or whatever, Xbox 360, whatever, this is what this device does. In fact, one of the other devs uh, that I know in the community sent one of these to him. He said he loves it. He loves the device. Doesn't really plan to do too much else with it, but when you're working on builds and images, or if there are, are drivers missing for a particular image, you have one of these and you can emulate another controller, definitely comes in handy. Now, this retails for $100. Uh, this retails, uh, the J5 retails for about 35 and I believe this retails for about 25 bucks but um you know all in all just wanted to give you guys a comprehensive list of some of the things here that i use here on the channel that makes your retro gaming experience a lot easier but you know with the chronos in you also have the uh chronos max which is also made by the same company uh those are discontinued but if you're a retro gamer just anybody in general that loves gaming you need to have one of these devices. You don't need to always use the scripts or whatever, but I use this to adapt controllers into a lot of other things like joysticks and things like that that uh, will definitely help you out. Makes your life a whole lot easier. But with that being said, I hope you guys like and subscribe. Check out the rest of my content and tutorial. I will be posting several videos this week that uh, tailor more or less to gaming for accessibility. I've had uh, some positive responses here in the past few weeks where people who um, have a disability want to see what are some of their available options uh, so that way they can play uh, video games conventionally. So hit that notification bell. I appreciate everyone's time and effort, and uh, I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.